So clean architecture basically boils down to breaking your application into logical pieces. Not a new idea. But what clean architecture says is that the pieces don't necessarily need to know about each other. For instance, the only thing that goes across your entire application are your models. These can represent things in the database or some other persistence. They can represent requests coming into the application or responses going out from the application. But they're the only things that are used across the whole thing. So the basic flow, you might have seen the circle diagram before, which I always thought was confusing when I first started learning. The request is gonna come in from an API or a socket listener or some other user facing interface. So the, the request comes in and it goes into the application. Now your application, this is where all of your business logic is and they're usually broken down into sometimes named features, sometimes use cases, but essentially all of your business logic lives in this, in this center layer. The request comes in, it processes it, it sends it back out. Now, these are generally broken down into what's called features or use cases. This means that they generally correlate to an action that the user takes, like register, sign in, add to cart, or join group. This specific action has business logic around it. And so that business logic lives completely in this application layer. And so if you have maybe one tiny action that can also be part of a larger action, this larger action will just call the smaller action as part of its process. This database or repository or persistence, the application doesn't actually know anything about this. It doesn't know about shared services. It doesn't know about a message bus or anything like that. So how does it know what to do? Well, the application is going to define interfaces. And interfaces say, hey, an email class must have a send message method. And so whatever service you plug into that has to match that interface. What that means is that you can swap out any database, any type of persistence. You could swap out any email service, any notification, any message bus. The application itself doesn't care. It has these defined interfaces and it works according to them. And whatever you plug into the back end of it just has to align with that interface and you never have to make any changes to the business logic. The benefits of this are that you don't have stray logic in your repository or some type of logic in your web API. It doesn't need to live there. It only needs to live here. All this should do is get and retrie retrieve and put into the database. All these should do is send out or whatever their function is. The business application doesn't care. It just gets a request, it processes it down this narrow path, and it sends back a response. That is essentially clean architecture.